Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 24 of my December Documented. This is going to be a very long video and this is even voiceovered. I had tried filming it and it actually became a lot, so um, that's why you're going to see my hands. I was actually talking, but um, yeah, we're going to try and speed this thing up. So what I'm trying to explain is that um, I had off camera printed all of the photos that we took on Christmas Eve. We had had our kids over to our house for um, gingerbread house decorating pictures and snacks before my family then hopped in the cars and went to met up meet up with the rest of my family. And so there's quite a few candid shots in here. But what I'm going to do is um, something I saw Ailey Edwards do where she kind of sandwiched everything in and made it look like um, a book that was tied. So that whole group of photos for Christmas Eve are going to stay together. Now, um, you're going to see me going through and trying to, you know, um, add a little bit of embellishment to all the photos, but I'm not going to do a whole lot. And here I'm just pointing out like we had the gingerbread houses and I have the picture of each of the boys with their gingerbread house. And then I have pictures from going to the pizza. And then we have pictures of like my mom and dad and everybody together. <clears throat> so here's where I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assemble my pocket. So what's going to be wedged in between is going to be all those pocket pages I just showed you. The back of the page is going to be those two photos that we will put together. The front of the page that's going to hold it all together is going to be these other two photos. And then I'm going to grab some pattern paper to make the close of it. And then it will all be held together with that red ribbon. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out the pattern paper. Um, and I <clears throat> just grabbed this one that said Happy Holidays. And now I'm trying to figure out how wide I'm going to make it because this is going to create the flap. So I'm going to cut it to four inches and then the height of the, you know, the other photos, which I believe was like eight and a quarter, eight and a half. And that way it will encompass as a book the rest of the photos. Um, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and double it just to give it more thickness. But also I need to be able to wedge the ribbon in between the two sections with red line tape so that it doesn't come apart. So here I'm cutting my second piece of paper to the other side. And now um, I'm kind of looking and you, I'm telling you that I'm going to have the side that says Happy Holidays there where it can be seen. I'm using my hole punch and one of the empty page protectors as my guide to punch the holes. And now here's where I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut some of this fat ribbon. And in the middle of this page, I'm going to put three strips of this red line adhesive and that should hold it between and then it will be all sandwiched together with these two pieces of paper. So here I'm just getting those three together and then you're going to see me try and struggle with getting the red line adhesive off because I think that's been the theme of this whole month here. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that stuff and that, that's going to hold it really tight. So now that I have my ribbon tied in, now I'm going to put the top layer and you can see that I'm putting the ribbon so it's facing the binding. That's so that it will tie together without covering up the photos. So now I'm going to work on the other front half and the gun that's going to be the two photos. Now, for whatever reason, my print to size did not print to the right size. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to, um, oh, I'm scoring first. So I will put a little washi tape on the other. So what I'm doing is, is now I'm taking a three inch strip of this pa paper and I'm going to have it the same height as the pictures. And now what I'm going to do is take the two back photos and I'm going to run some adhesive down it. And then I'm going to put the, um, <clears throat> this um, paper down the side and it's scored so that there is a one quarter inch gap so it will fold over like a book. And now I'm just going to go ahead and adhere the other half of the photo. 
and now I'm going to hole punch. And this is going to make the back cover of my folder or book that will be inside my December daily. So now I'm working with the front half. And the first thing that I'm going to do is adhere um, the front picture to the paper. And here I'm just trying to line it up so it's straight. All right. And then I'm going to add the ribbon. So I'm using the other um, half of the flap to line up so I kind of know exactly where I want to have um, the ribbon match up so it's pretty close within the book. It doesn't have to be perfect. And when I tie it, I only tie it a single. I'm not even, you know, tying it in a knot or a bow. It's just for the look of it and to kind of separate Christmas Eve out from the rest of the book because this is the big event. And so now I'm going to go ahead and take another strip of the ribbon and cut that off. And then that's going to be the back ribbon that will tie. So now to finish this off, I'm going to wedge the um, ribbon between um, the front picture, or actually it would be the inside picture for the cover. So here I'm just lining it up, and you this is where the, the photos don't match. So I'm going to go into my stash and grab some of that 49 and Market um, washi tape, and I'm just going to put a strip of the red stripe up here. And again, it's a... Washi tape's your friend. It's going to cover up any of the little mistakes that you made. So here's where um, I have the big pictures of all of my kids with their families or significant others. And now all of those pages will go together. And when you tie it, it's all together in one section within the book. So that's my whole Christmas Eve in one. So, you know, if you're flipping through, you can flip as the book or open it up and then you'll see all the activities that happen in between. Now, my desk is going to become a completely cluttered, awful mess. I pulled out everything that I had that I could use for embellishments and I apologize. It was making me shake with all the stuff I end up having laying around. Um, I do try and reset it a couple times, but it just tended to collect as I went through. And like I said, this ended up being much longer than I wanted. I did two sections of it last night. Um, I did part before dinner, and then I came back and worked on it again after dinner. And I finally was not feeling it anymore, so this morning I finished it off on New Year's Day. So... Hopefully you'll like it and it will give you some ideas for your own books. Um, off camera today, I'm going through with a gold pen and I'm actually writing on some of the candid pictures, names and dates and, and things like that that um, I didn't add yesterday, which, you know, you I don't think you guys really need to see, but you'll see in the final um, page. So for the cover, I'm going to put the number 24 on here. Um, that will be my... Um, you know, when you close the book, you'll see it. And it's in a place in the front with the, the boys that um, it doesn't um, take up any space or anything like that. It's kind of in the dead space of my room. And I'm going to um, put it on one of these Vicky Boot and poinsettias that I had fussy cut out from her pattern paper. And then um, I will end up putting um, a puffy sticker that says Holiday Joy on there as well. So here I'm going to just go ahead and commit to it, glue it down, and glue down the number. And I don't know if I grab the puffy now. Yep, I do. And then I'll just grab that Holiday Joy, put that on there. And then um, I will find um, when I'm done or working on this other page, I'll see it one of the puffies that says so freaking cute. And I'll add that to that picture as well. So now I'm making it so when you open up the pocket, you see this Merry Christmas that will be on the front cover page. So you'll open it up, and I'm just going to add a little poinsettia on there, make it simple, but you'll see the, the Merry Christmas, and it all folds into the album. And this, I believe, was like a um, Vicky Booten that I printed, um, one of the printables, and I printed it and finished to cut that out myself. Now I'm just kind of going through again uh, the 49 and market and seeing what things I can 
decorate with there. So now I'm working on the inside of the cover and working on the picture of my son, Mike, and his girlfriend, Melissa. I end up finding this um, red buffalo check, red and black buffalo check banner, a little tag, um, and then it says, meet me under the mistletoe, um, little circle, and then a puffy sticker and, and that says love. And I'll put that, and that will make the cluster of theirs along with a red washi. Again, I'm trying to keep each of these pages pretty simple. It doesn't have to have a whole lot on it. I want the focus to be the pictures and the fun that we had, not necessarily all the embellishments and things like that. So now I'm moving on, and I am working on the photo of my husband and I in front of the Christmas tree with all of my grandkids, and they just make my heart melt. And I had um, found my Simple Stories. Um, it was the Simple Vintage Rustic Christmas sticker book. And out of there, I'm going to grab Believe in Magic, a heart, and then a poinsettia. And that will be the end of that um, decorating. On the back side now is a picture of the grandkids with all of their little headbands on. So we had um, Preston was his elf. Um, we had Dylan and Everett had the reindeer ears on and then Everett had the Santa Claus ears. So I'm just going to put the word magical and then Merry Christmas above that. And again, keep that very simple. Now we're getting into the pocket pages and I have the fold out pop pocket pages. And so I had put the pictures in, but I had not put in any of the pocket cards. I'm not going to get real tricky with this. I'm trying to use up a lot of the pocket cards that I have in my stash. So even though I have like Vicky boot and cut aparts and things like that, I'm trying to focus on things that I've already cut apart that are in my stash so that I can use some of these up. So I found for the front page, it just is a stocking that says Merry Christmas. I'm not going to add anything else to that. Same thing with the Christmas tree down below. It says Merry Christmas. Nothing needs to be added. Now, the shirt or the picture of my son, Mike, he got that shirt from his, um, Everett. He's his godfather. And so we just put the puffy sticker that says um, Holiday Best and then off camera, I'm going to write Michael's gift from Everett and gold pen on the picture. And that will finish that one off. And then there's the picture of Kevin and Emily together in front of the tree. And I just wrote Holly Jolly. And so here's where I'm just kind of going through and trying to find the different um, embellishments. I'm going to end up, um, the Holly Jolly is going to be from a sticker book, I think. And the um, Holiday Best will be from the Puffy Stickers. And I'm still going through and trying to find um, just cards to fill in the blanks here. So um, here's where I've got the front one done. I did use the 24 in the front. And off camera, I did um, put a puffy sticker that says Believe above the 24. And then I just um, journaled on that 24 card that says Christmas Eve was a day filled with family, love, and fun. We started with decorating gingerbread houses, eating snacks, opening presents, and then drove to Nick's for pizza. And um, so that will finish off my journaling. On the back page, um, we have all the candid shots of the kids with their antlers on. So I have my two daughter-in-laws in the upper left-hand corner with their antlers. And I just put puffy stickers that said Christmas cheer. And then on the boys picture, I wrote ho, ho, ho. And then um, the picture of the girls with my husband, I found one that said putting on our holiday best and I cut it in half and then stacked it. And then we're just going to have the journaling card that says, may your heart be merry. And then there's a simple stories one that says, dear Santa. And again, I didn't decorate either of those. Now moving on, <clears throat> we're going to go to the other um, flap of the page and that's going to be all of the presents. And so you're going to see here, I grabbed that red, um, 
journaling or a three by four card. And I'm just going to find um, in the Simple Stories book, they've got a sticker that looks like a cluster that says Believe in Magic. And I'm going to add that to um, this card here. And then I have all the, the photos of the kids opening presents. So on, um, oh, actually, I'm kind of flipping back and forth. So on the back side of that card is the picture of Dylan with his gingerbread house. So I did find a gingerbread on a cake stand. And then I'm going to pull out a sticker that says traditions. And so that's going to finish that pocket front and back. Now the next pocket that I'm going to work on is the one, um, it's got um, Carter on the front where he's got his new excavator truck he got from Nana and Papa. And I'm just going to throw on one of the Simple Story sticker that says Merry Christmas and then Under the Tree. And I believe the Under the Tree is one of the Vicki Booten um, stickers. And on the back side is the gingerbread house that Dylan made. And so I'm just going to put a time of magic on that um, sticker up above and I will trim them off and make sure that they're all um, matched up. Now I am going to, uh, let's see, now I'm really flipping here. Um, yeah, here's where I'm going to put a time of magic. I think I had found a sticker, um, it says holiday style. And then I put that on one of the pictures of um, my nephew's wife and her new baby because she was wearing um, her new, um, this is her ba first Christmas. She was born about the same time as Everett and she had on her pretty Christmas outfit. So she was styling. So I think when I saw that sticker, I knew I needed to put that on Charlotte's picture. So now I'm going and working on the pictures of the kids opening presents and so I'm putting stickers on like a time for giving, a time for gathering. Um, we have another one that says I put a present with we're happy tonight and then there was one with um, Preston where I'm going to put a present in the word joy. And as I'm going through I'm kind of trimming up the pictures and finding anything that's appropriate to go. So this was what took up a lot of the time is just finding the stickers and like I said, I'm going to go through with um, off camera and just kind of put little notes and gold pen on there. Uh, the one picture I just put in was a picture of uh, the flowers that uh, Michael and his um, Melissa's mom gave me. So I just put a sticker that says a Merry Little Christmas. And below that is a picture of the gifts that I got or a couple of the gifts. Um, not all of them, but I got um, a necklace with the birthstone of all the grandkids a shirt that says Grandma Bear, um, some little socks and some towels, and then off camp or not shown there, I got a wallet and um, a new kitchen pan and an umbrella for my daughter-in-law. So um, didn't get a picture of those, but I'm just going through and putting those on. Um, right now I'm working on one of the gingerbread houses. This would be... Um, who's, I believe this was, um, uh, might be Preston's or Carter's. And again, I'm just writing like believe and tradition stickers on there. Now I'm looking at the top and adding photos to the top or journaling boxes. So I have, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas with a little car. And then I was going to, um, I found this journaling card that says, Twas the Night Before Christmas. And I'm going to skip forward on this one and put it with the stuff for Nix. Because our tradition is to do an ornament exchange where my dad will read Twas the Night Before Christmas. So I thought that card was perfect to put by his picture and I'll write about the ornament exchange. And um, he recently had a stroke and so he practiced really hard to read the story and so I want to write about that. So um, on the one journaling card it had the um, Santa Claus um, heads on there so I'm just going to use it all together. I don't need to um, add another journaling card there but I do want to add a sticker so I'm going to go into my sticker sheets. I find an elf that I'm going to put on the the front part with the journaling box 
and a sticker that says in the Christmas spirit. And then on the back side, I find a sticker that says wishing you Christmas cheer and a happy new year. And that will go in that box. So now I'm still working on the gingerbread houses, I think. And this is um, Carter's. And on the back side is my husband holding Everett. Um, at the pizza place. So on their picture, I put Mary and Bright. And then on the picture of Preston's gingerbread house, I have the Believe. On Now this picture is a picture of my nephew who recently moved back into the area. And so I just have family and Christmas cheer. And he, we're actually have it. I'm going to actually extend my um, December documented and add another day to the back end. Um, we normally, I normally end it on the 25th, but he got a new job working for uh, the Chicago Wolves, which is an ice skating um, ho or hockey team here in the area. And so he was able to get us tickets for the Friday night game. So I'm going to actually end up adding that into the book as well, since it was an event and there was 17 of us that actually went to the game, 18 if you counted him because he was working. But so it was kind of a fun to get all of us together and um, go, you know, watch the hockey game and support um, uh, Brody and his game. So this is actually the next morning. So you can see I kind of did a clean up on my table because it was getting a little cluttered. And I'm going to keep working on the pages. So here I am working on, um, again, the pictures from us going out to eat. So um, I just added onto those photos, um, have a holly, um, a holly jolly Christmas, and then a sticker that says get together. And now I'm going to start working on the 8 by 10 photos that um, this is my dad. And again, it's, to me, it's an important photo to document. So that's why I made it a 6 by 8 photo. He's standing there um, with the book. We do every year an ornament exchange. He reads, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Every time he says the word the, you pass it to the right. And every time he says the word and, you pass it to the left. Um, his stroke that he had at the end of the fall affected his cognitive skills and also his eyesight. So he is kind of going blind and they're still working on it and he's having trouble reading, which is um, disappointing for everybody because he's such an avid reader and it's one of the things that he loves to do. So, but he practiced really hard with my mom and he was able to get through the story for the most part. Um, he had a few um, blips in there, but um, did an amazing job considering what he's been going through the last few months. And so um, I, you know, just want this, this documented. And so now I'm going through um, the 49 and market and the the packaging, everything was falling everywhere. And I had um, an empty iris container. So I'm kind of throwing some things in there just so I can keep it all wrangled. And I'm just looking for bits that I can find. So I found the Buffalo Chat um, plaid um, red and black um, gingham banner. And I'm going to use that in the top corner. And then I found a um, circle that says... Um, wish you a Merry Christmas, and I'm going to put that on there. I am going to um, glue these two paper or pictures together um, with the front and the back, um, and I don't know what I'm looking for now. Oh, I was looking for a journaling tag because I knew I wanted to write the journaling about him having a stroke and, you know, this, how important it was that we had him um, reading so I'm lining up the pictures and gluing them together, and I was going to use the word amazing, and it was just going to take up too much space, and it was going to cover up the book, and I didn't want the book covered up because that's an important part of the story. So I'm going to go ahead and not use that. So I have the banner up at the top, and here's where I'm looking at going, you know, it's just covering up too much, so I'm going to take it off. I do grab one of these Vicki Booten um, labels and I'm going to put that in the bottom 
And now I'm just going to decorate around that corner. I do find um, this tag um, from 49 and Market. It says one for the record books. And, and then I'm looking through all the other items. And I don't know if it was 49 and Market or if it was Vicki Booten, but I found um, a little label that says Our Story. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that at the top because Twas the Night Before Christmas is our story. And Dad's struggle right now is part of our story too. So I thought it was appropriate. Now I know that I want to decorate a little something around each of these clusters. So I'm looking to see what I can find. Um, I thought about a puffy sticker. I didn't like how that took up space. So in the end, I am actually just going to grab some of my... Um, the see and I found the holly and that's where it reminded me of I have the little poinsettias that I got from um, Hobby Lobby and so I'm going to go ahead and put those on there I'm going to put one at the bottom or two at the bottom and one at the top and I'm going to end up tucking it the one at the top under the we wish you a merry Christmas just so that I don't have to cut as much off I will trim off whatever hangs over the edges and it looks fine and then on the journaling, I'm just going to write on here, after having a stroke in the fall of 2023, Dad worked hard so he could read Twas the Night Before Christmas for our ornament exchange. And then on the, the journaling card I have on the next page, um, I'll probably go into a little bit more detail about going to Nick's and, you know, him practicing and, you know, just, it. you know, you. I think you just have to stop and appreciate the... Uh, when you have scary moments in your life, you need to stop and appreciate the moments that you have. We always took it for granted that dad would read Twas the Night Before Christmas. And all of a sudden, we're now getting to that point where, um, you know, health issues and age are catching up. So now I'm taking and I am decorating the backside photo, which is a picture of my mom and dad with their great grandson, Everett. And we are blessed to have both of my parents still and that he has his great grandparents. Um, they, My mom and dad now have six great grandchildren and absolutely are eating it up and love it. So I... Um, just found the um that little label it says may your holiday be epic and i think um everett is our rainbow baby kevin and emily lost two pregnancies before they had him and then having mom and dad and dad surviving a stroke this was an epic christmas in my book so i want to do a little bit of journaling so i'm grabbing one of these little tags at the bottom there it says to and from but it was I think okay for doing my journaling and I just wrote 2023 was filled uh, full of blessings and seeing mom and dad hold their great grandson ever it was one of them and that will do it for that book as you can see you don't have to do a lot of you know some people like Ellie Edwards does a lot with stories and telling the individual stories if that's not you and you just want to tell your story with pictures that works too all of these um, pictures are not yeah you know, for the most part are also going to be scrapbooked and go into my 20 my larger 12 by 12 albums this here is a quick snapshot of my December it makes me happy I love going through but I still like documenting it with the full photos the big stories and so um, I will be going back through and documenting these so if I don't tell a lot in my December daily I'm okay with it because I'll have more room to tell the big story when I do my 12 by 12 albums. So this is a picture of my daughter, her husband, and the three older grandkids, um, Preston, Dylan, and Everett, who you always hear about. And so for this page, I just took one of the Vicki Booten um, poinsettias that I fussy cut out, put that in the upper corner. It's just covering up my window shades, so it's not covering up anything important. On there, I put the Vicki Booten puffy stickers that says, remember this unforgettable time, along with a big gold star. And then I had put the um, Vicki Booten Joy um, 
die cut in the bottom corner along with a star. So now the last page that I need to finish for 2024 is this back photo of Kevin Everett and Emily in front of our tree. So I grabbed the Vicky Booten uh, puffy words and wrote joy or put joyful on there along with one of these gold hollies and a gold star. And then below there, um, that I'm going to put on the side, again, on the windows where it doesn't matter, cherish every beautiful moment. And that pretty much sums it up. I just wanted this year um, finding, <clears throat> you know, I've put five by seven photos in my albums in the past, but actually playing with my wide format printer, and you could do it with an a regular eight and a half by 11 printer. I just happen to have the wide format, but I'm printing them all on eight and a half by 11 paper. But having that bigger paper and printing it on a nice, it's just been a lot of um, enjoyment. And I'm trying to get those bigger photos in this album. And it, I think it's having a big am impact. So here's the finished page. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you again tomorrow on my channel.